Hi, everybody. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about three new recommendations everyone with high blood pressure should know. If you have high blood pressure, you already know that it's really common, but you may be surprised to find out that almost half of adults in the United States now have high blood pressure. Uh, and probably as most of these people are, you're concerned about your high blood pressure. You know, we all know high blood pressure is called the silent killer. And the reason is because it is the leading risk factor for heart disease. Heart disease is the number one cause of death and the leading risk factor for stroke as well, which is the fourth leading cause of death, as well as other things like kidney disease and atrial fibrillation. Um, in fact, high blood pressure leads to almost 1,100 deaths per day. So today I wanted to kind of go over the information about high blood pressure and then some new information from the medical literature that is important for all people with high blood pressure to know. So let me share my screen here. So the three things to know about high blood pressure, I'll go into these in a little bit more detail, are one, to monitor your own blood pressure at home. Uh, number two, it may be better to take your blood pressure medications at night. And then lastly, if particularly if you're having difficulty controlling your blood pressure, it would be a good idea to potentially ask your doctor about high aldosterone levels. Aldosterone is a hormone that can cause high blood pressure. Okay, so blood pressure is really important. We often talk about life simple seven. These are the seven things that if optimized can lower the risk of heart disease by up to 80% and those people who get it all right versus those people who do not. And one of those factors, of course, is a normal blood pressure. As I'd already mentioned, hypertension is the leading cause of death and disability worldwide the leading cause of cardiovascular death in the United States and the second most common cause of preventable death after smoking. So numbers that are important, 46% of adults have hypertension, what the medical term for high blood pressure, only 44% of those are controlled. I mean, that's really striking in that we have very effective means, very inexpensive medications to lower blood pressure and yet less than half of the people with high blood pressure actually have their blood pressure controlled. And the result is an unacceptable 1,100 deaths per day in the United States contributed or primarily caused by high blood pressure. So this has led to a recent call to action from the US Surgeon General to control hypertension. And I like the timeliness of this document, certainly we need to do a better job of helping people with high blood pressure, but I like the way they describe the high blood pressure in the vid or in the article, highly prevalent, yes it is, poorly managed, that is true as well, and equitably experienced. So it is our disadvantaged or underserved populations that are primarily struggling with the adverse effects of high blood pressure. Uh, even though it's highly controllable. So the first recommendation uh, from the literature that I want all people with high blood pressure to know is the importance of measuring your blood pressure at home. Expert recommendations now are recommending home blood pressure monitoring for several reasons. Now, you know, when I was uh, practicing in the past, I I thought the best blood pressure would, of course, be the one that I took in the office. But more recent re research in, in recent years has shown that, in fact, the blood pressure that we take in the office is the one that's least correlated with the, the um, gold standard of blood pressure, which is a 24-hour blood pressure monitor. Up to 65% of the blood pressures we obtain in an office-based practice uh, are actually not accurate. And so home blood pressure monitoring are a really important component. And we have also found from research that people who monitor their blood pressure at home have lower blood pressure, uh, more likely to have control of the blood pressure, and that home blood pressure uh, readings may be more predictive of risk of heart attack and stroke and other adverse effects of blood pressure than the ones we do in the office. So I recommend to all of my patients to get a home blood pressure monitor, uh, check your blood pressure periodically at home, 
the most important advice I'd give about measuring your blood pressure, whether it's in the clinic or whether it's at home, is to sit and relax for five minutes before you take that blood pressure. It's not always easy to do, but really important in getting an accurate blood pressure. So the second thing that's new to uh, my practice is recommending to take blood pressure medications at night. So, you know, in the past, I with the I had the reason, the reasoning was that I, people have higher blood pressure during the day, so should, they probably should take their blood pressure medications in the morning. Well, there's been some research, and this is one of the studies that has shown that when blood pressure medications are taken at night, not only is the blood pressure lower, but there is also a lower risk of the uh, concerning problems we see from blood pressure, like death, like heart attack, like stroke, and like heart failure. So in general, I'm recommending to my patients now to take their blood pressure medications at night. Now, the one caveat of that is if the blood pressure medication you take is a diuretic or a water pill, it's probably still best to take that in the morning so you're not up at night having to go to the bathroom. And then the third thing I want to bring up is something new to the literature was the, the causes of blood pressure. So we've known for a long time that high levels of a hormone called aldosterone can be a cause of high blood pressure. That's not new news. Uh, but what is new is that we've always thought that that was a really rare thing when in fact it may not be rare. And this study so, uh, showed that maybe up to 20% of people with uh, hard to control blood pressure may have high aldosterone levels that is causing that even though only about one in a thousand people are actually screened with uh, for high aldosterone levels. So the importance of this is in my practice, I'm going to have a lower threshold for looking for high aldosterone levels in my patients. Um, but if you are particularly if you're having a hard time controlling your blood pressure, talk to your doctor to see if screening for high levels of aldosterone may be a good idea. So, um, you know, in ending, I want to emphasize that we have really effective ways of taking control of blood pressure. And it's not just medications, lifestyle change, like being physically active, uh, avoiding excess alcohol and salt, eating nutritious food, uh, treating sleep apnea, if somebody has sleep apnea, and then weight loss if you're overweight are as or even more effective than any blood pressure medications that we have. But in addition to that, if you have high blood pressure, monitor your blood pressure at home if at all possible. Talk to your doctor to see if taking your medications at night would be a good idea. And particularly if your blood pressure has been tough to control, Ask your, daughter, uh, your doctor if uh, checking for high aldosterone levels is a good idea. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. This information is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. Don't make any decisions about your medical treatment without first talking to your doctor. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about living a long, healthy life you love, click the link below to learn more about how we help people increase their health span. And if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe.